Welcome back to the channel. I'm Ben Hughes. We are the Hershesh family and today we are back at Alton Towers for our first vlog of this year. Oh my god, I'm so excited. It's been ages since we've been on YouTube. I'm so glad to be back showing you all the fun we have. Come and join us while we explore this amazing place. Now I'm sure it goes without saying that Nemesis has reopened. We cannot wait to get down there and have a look. Uh, it opened two days ago, but I don't know about you, but we cannot cope with the queues like that. You know, it's, it's like 270 minutes, not for us at all. Uh, yeah, we really struggle with queues. I'm sure a lot of you out there do too. So we've waited off a little bit for it to die down a little bit, which I'm sure is going to be much better. I'm hoping for a couple of rides today. That'd be ideal. Looking really quiet. Fingers crossed we made the right decision waiting a little bit. Never know when we get down to Forbidden Valley though. Could be heaving. Fingers are crossed. We've made it down to Forbidden Valley and oh my god, look at this. What do you think of that, Gio? It's big. It's big, isn't it? This looks amazing. This is what Finn Valley has needed for a long time. Nemesis itself is currently on a 35 minute queue, which is not too bad given that it's been on a 275 minute queue. Oh so yeah, let's go down and see this. Oh wow, that beast is looking amazing. Absolutely awesome. It's been hard having this closed for so long because Alton Tower really is made by this, I'd say. <laughs> Such a good ride. I'd say it's definitely my favourite in the country by far. Even more so looking at how it looks now. I can't wait to see how it rides.
15 minutes in now and honestly the whole thing looks amazing. What do you think Caden so far? So if I actually look sick, oh, man. What are you saying, Inferno or Reborn? Original Nemesis even. It's not the original yeah, Nemesis anymore. Yeah, I know, but even, even when it was, it was still better than that. Definitely agree. Nemesis Reborn all the way. Look at that, you know, that model. Yeah. Are that's a beast. Are the teeth on these supposed to move? Or not? I don't think they move, no, that's just a model. What's this? It's a beast, isn't it? What did you find a minute ago? A bottle. It was a beast, isn't it? What the hell? Boxes, hoodies, t-shirts. Trophy. Deals 132 centimeters. Which means it can go on the pier, yeah? So it's hermit. So 
We're really quite lucky today because everything's like five minute, ten minute queue. So we're going to go and get something done for Geo before we explore some more of the changes. I believe there's been some uh, sparkling done to X Sector, which is nice, not just Thor Park's had attention this year. So other news, we're due another flat ride and we're not too sure when it's going to be built, but it's going to be built over this path here. There's going to be a tunnel that goes over the top. No, there's not going to be a tunnel that goes over the top. The ride's going to go over the top of the tunnel, the tunnel's going to go underneath. Looks quite good. No one has any idea what it's going to be yet. But of course, anything extra in this area is fantastic since we haven't got any flat rides at all. No retro squad this year, which we're all quite happy about. I think Gio's going to miss Funk and Fly though, so I hope whatever ride does replace these rides that he can go on. Mind you, he might be 140 by the time we get something new, but uh, right. I think we're going to go head over to Wickerman because it's currently on a 10 minute queue. Wickerman, Gio, it's on a 10 minute queue. So Gio's got a question for you, which he wants you to put the answer in the, in the, in the uh, comments section. Yes. So, how much tons of steel was Nemesis built? How much? Yeah, how, much ton, how many tons of steel was Nemesis made out of? I And you want them to comment that in the comment section, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Probably like a trillion. Okay. We're on our way over to Wickerman, we've decided to jump on the curse because it'd be rude not to. And I love that I ride. Know. Now these, these tend to moan at me for wanting to go on it all the time. But I love it, so we're going to do it at least once, at least once. I'm not going to share it with you loads because I do that all the time and uh, it's all about bringing fresh to these videos, isn't it? So here we go. No queue at all. Five minutes usually means nothing. We've just had our ride on the curse. Doesn't get old to me. Geo seems to be getting bored of it, but I think it's because I've dragged him on it so many times. It's not a massive fan of dark rides, Geo. Much prefers roller coaster. We're gonna go and get our refill all day drink, which we've got a voucher for with our platinum pass. If you didn't know already, with your platinum pass, you get three drink vouchers, one of which you can get a mug, a cup with as well. So we have to go to Towers Trading now to scan that in and get our cup, hoping that it's a Nemesis Reborn cup. Fingers crossed, because that can add to our collection. Once we've got that, Drew will be happy because he can get unlimited Coca-Cola and the remix drinks. And then we're going on Wickerman. Can't wait to get on Wickerman. Queues are still really quiet today. We're so lucky. So glad we waited because, like I said before, we just couldn't cope with those bigger queues. Uh, we waited 25 minutes for Nemesis. That's not bad at all, really, is it? But uh, I think Wickerman, 10 minute queue, maybe even five minutes, but I'll let you know. Oh, that's nice. Lovely little character. Gio, you're going to go say hello to the teddy bear? No, why? What do you mean no? Look, it's an Alton Towers teddy. You're not going to go and say hello? You're going to say hello, you're going to get a picture with him. Come on, let's go say hello. Come on. Would you like a photo with Alton Bear? He would, but I would please. Yes, would I Thank you. Perfect. Yeah, I hold the bags all day. Do you hold the bags all day? I moan a lot. I've got my, <laughs> I've got my first fantastical adventure at Alton Towers Resort. I've got, I'm here for the thrilling adventure at Alton Towers Resort. Video, and I'm the bag lady. You're the bag lady. <laughs> there we go. Can we do a big smile? Nice thing to call her. <laughs> big waves. Well done, fantastical there. We go. there. So here's Towers Trading, and this is where we scan our drinks. You can get these all around the park, but if you're a pass if you're a pass holder with a voucher, you have to come into Towers Trading to get your cut. Which is a bit of a pain, probably Yeah it is, isn't it? But it's best you do it when you come in the park. But we were so excited to get our nemesis that we uh, rushed straight past today. Right, so we've got our refill, haven't we? That's yeah. our cut. Yeah. There it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we'll take you to a drinks machine now. I'm not sure what he's gonna choose. Do you know what you're choosing? Do you know what I want? I want strawberry Dr. Pepper. I bet you I don't get that straight away, do I? I've got to wait my turn, have I? I want that as well. Though. What do you want? Strawberry Dr. Pepper. You do want strawberry Dr. Pepper? Yeah. Boom, how about that, eh? Like father, like son. <laughs> oh, I've done there already. And here's the closest one to Towers Trading. Right. These are all our choices. Here we are, straight on Dr. Pepper. Strawberry. There was a massive queue up there, there was three ducks in it, up the queue. Spinball Wizard is on a five minute queue, 
Well, it's 10 minutes actually now, but that's not too bad. I'll keep 10 minutes of spin ball with her, especially because we've not been on it for uh, a while. But the last time we went on it was December, for all the time was Christmas. Yeah, looking forward to it. to Exeter. I believe there's been some attention paid down here, a bit of cleaning, a bit of painting, so I'm really looking forward to seeing it to be honest. Should be nice. Uh, the Smile is currently on a 20 minute queue and Oblivion's on a 5 minute queue, so I think what me and Caden are going to do is jump on the single ride of the Smiler and then jump on Oblivion really quickly after. We read not too, so, wouldn't it? But I'm looking forward to seeing what attention has been uh, made down here because it's really needed it and it's been a shame seeing it so dirty to be honest with you. It looks like Bianca is really uh, taking some responsibility for it all. It's about time. recommend that single rider queue. Beats. It's nice to get back on Oblivion and the Smiler, both running fantastically. Waited five minutes for Oblivion, and as you know, five minutes for the Smiler. Now we're heading over to Wickerman finally. It's only on a 20 minute queue, it went up to 40 minutes, so we thought we'd wait off a little bit. So we're heading over there now. Hopefully it doesn't go up while we're walking over. But of course, this is one of the only coasters that Geo can do in the park. He can go on 13, Wickerman and Spinball Wizard. 13 is currently closed, so we'll come back to that in a little while. Rita's closed as well, so there's not much point in us heading to Dark Forest at the moment, but we will soon. And here's uh, the castle looking majestic. I love it. Imagine living in that bad boy. He's hissing at me. You're on YouTube. That's where you make you for this bad boy. Looking forward to it? Yeah, I've not been. You looking forward to it, Gio? Yeah, it's only a 20 minute queue, it's not bad, is it?
We've just come off Wicker Man, queued for quite a while, I'd say half an hour queue for that one, but that's okay, it's usually much but much more than that really, you could expect at least 45 minute queues on that most most of the time. So that's not too bad, half an hour at least we've got our ride. Gio, did you enjoy Wicker Man? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. What's your favourite ride that you can go on here? 13. 13, but I'm guessing Wicker Man would be second, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it's good though isn't it, for a wooden coaster? Yeah. Yeah. So now... We're actually off to our normal spot to, to have our lunch. We come on pretty slow because no, it's pretty fast because like it's only like a twenty it's only like a thirty minute it's only I can't speak. You did a thirty minute queue, didn't you? Yeah, and it was like literally like thirty seconds. Yeah, so it's quite a quick ride, isn't it? Whinging. Bloody whinging. That's a nice muddy geo, where'd you get that from? www.hershurst.world? Yeah. Well, I kind of got it from you because oh. it wasn't really out, but... Okay, that's it, tell everybody. Picked up some uh, Nemesis Nectar Lager. I'm happy about that. It wasn't cheap, though. Well, cheaper with a Merlin discount, but £7 a tin if you don't have a Merlin card. My God. So £21 for three of them. Managed to get that down to, I think, £16.50 I paid for three cans of Coke-sized beers. Hey-ho. You live once, don't you? 4.1%, apparently made in Alton. Taste the legend, Nemesis Nectar. Pretty decent, eh? Let you know how that tastes in a second. Nemesis Nectar. And I have too many of those have today. Gio's gone off to see BB's land, which is uh, not like him at the moment actually, because he's always too old for see BB's land these days. But while he's away, we're going back over to X Sector. Oblivion's on a five minute queue still. Definitely going on that. I think the smile is on a 25 minute queue, but we might do the single rider again. Uh, 13 still closed, which is a shame for Gio, because he really likes that ride. It's his favorite here. Might open, there's still time. I think we've got like an hour and 15 minutes left of the day. Not looking likely though. Reet is the, the uh, biggest queue here. It's on a 40 minute queue at the moment. I was going to go on it, but I'm not queuing 40 minutes for that. So let's head over to X Sector, shall we? Shout out to the ride operator that recognised us. Nice to meet you. Oh, I've got another beer. Gotta be done. Addicted to the Nemesis Nectar, you know. Right, we're off to Dark Forest now. Rita is on a 25 minute queue, and that is the maximum that I will queue for Rita. But it's either we do that, or we go and stand in Hay Doggy's land, and I'm not doing that. Are you doing that? No. Wanna go down the slide in Hay Doggy land? No. Off to Dark Forest we go then. And then that's all the open roller coasters done today. That's not bad at all. We've had a fairly relaxed day. It's only open 10 till 4 today, which it's not great, is it, really? Six hours. Uh, we travel two hours down here too. So we have a two hour journey, 10 o'clock open. Just leave at 4 and then we'll be back about 6 o'clock. So it's a short day. 
more so than what we're used to anyway. But uh, better than nothing. I think Alton after dark is open until 10 o'clock, so on the weekend, it's certainly on Saturday, it was open till 10. But I believe people were getting less rides done than what we were doing today, so I'd rather a short day with more rides than a long day with less, of course. But there we go. Rita, good little ride. Glad we went on it to be honest with you. What do you think of it, Cade? Uh, I don't think now we've been on stealth, I don't think it's as good as it used to be to be honest. It no. just doesn't hit as hard. No, I agree with that actually. It'd be nice if there was a stealth here, but of course Alton Towers can't build above the tree line. They could do something better with that though, surely. If not, maybe it needs replacing, but I always say this, I think it's better than no Rita. A Rita is better than no Rita, especially for kids who are sort of trying to work their way up to stealth maybe. We did, I did used to appreciate it more, so maybe it's because we're spoiled. Definitely spoiled. You're spoiled. Yeah, I know. Definitely spoiled. There we go. Let's go and find that little one, shall we? Where's it been? We found Forbidden Fizz. Are we going for it? Uh, if it's not this. I'm not sure what this is yet. Yeah. I, I hope he likes it. What do you think of it? Is it nice? Yeah. Forbidden nice. fizz. I'm not sure what it tastes like. Do you know what it tastes like? Mm -hmm. uh, some type of sweet, I can't remember its name. Oh, it's working! Order! I say, let there be order. I be the judge of things around here. And judging by your pirating skills out there on the seven seas, I'd say you'd be struggling trying to aim a cannon at the galleon. Ha <laughs> You'd be needing some practice. And plenty of it. I think... So although not the most exciting of rides, we're off to the runaway mine train. We do love it. However, the reason why we're going on it now is because I've heard there is some theme and enhancements. And I'm hoping that they're in the tunnel. So we'll have to wait and see and I'll let you know. I wish I could take you on ride here. Of course I can't. Boring, I know. Uh, but I can tell you all about it and hope that you'll make the visit yourself. Amazing place to be. So if you need something to do in the queue lines, I highly recommend the unofficial theme park puzzle compen compendium. And you can find that on Amazon. And we were donated this by Love to Explore, which is fantastic really grateful for that. You can pick yours up on Amazon, which I'm going to put the link in the description. It's absolutely amazing. It's got all sorts of puzzles in it. Stuff that we'll recognise. That's it. Well done, Geo. Good modelling. Fantastic. Highly recommend. Go pick yours up off Amazon now. A new fencing. A new mine train. I do love this ride, but we don't rush to go no, on. sorry. Thank you. We don't rush to go on it anymore. There was a time when this was the only roller coaster Geo could do. But of course that time was long gone. I think Geo thinks it's too cool for it at the moment. What is the height for the for the runaway mine train? I think it went up to 1.1. Had a good ride on the runway mine train. Didn't see any theming enhancements whatsoever. The only thing I did see was a new fence, a little bit of pressure washing, and a nice little new light. One thing I have noticed though, pizza and pasta has gone up. It's just some distortion it. I thought £21, children £12. Wow. That's like for family of four, if you've got two big kids, you're talking 80, 84 quid. For us, with a Merlin discount, we'd get 20% off that, but still. Aramark, that's who's running the food now. Charging too much there. 100% of something is better than 100% of nothing. Reduce your prices. 
Fancy some pick and mix and tell me straight again. Yeah? Yeah, okay. Best pick and mix you can get. Back to the shop. Hey? Why did you have to record the video at the worst time? I was drinking my drink. No, well it shows and it's an action shot, isn't it? Alright. Let's go, shall we? Right, pick a mix, large, ten pound. We get two pound off that we get twenty percent discount. Gene's going for gold already. Peyton's right, on the bonbons. And squash squishy. this down and get as much as we can in. Definitely want some bubblegum mermaid. No, wait, wait, wait. Double one. <laughs> it's too, it's too literally just squished the old white and shot. Is that heavy? Mm. That's got to last until Christmas, Day. Christmas? <laughs> Are you sure? Are you sure? That has to last. Oh, look at that. Sharing's caring. Um. So that brings us to the end of our video. We've had an awesome day at Alton Towers. Our highlight has definitely been Nemesis Reborn. I hope you're going to come and experience that for yourself. It's been absolutely awesome. You had a good day? Yeah. Good. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to... Like and subscribe.